How's it going, dudes and dudettes? It is thou another dude. I'm trying to get more creative with my intros, I'm sorry. But, um... Welcome back to another gaming talk. Talking about games. That I make. Um... I'm in the I'm in the process of making two games, and uh, yeah, but I'm gonna talk about this one first, and then at some other time I will talk about the the other one. So toxic, we're gonna yeah today we're gonna be talking about toxic venom, age of toxicity. Now, for those of you who have not seen the finale of um, Nether Dude 3. I'm gonna basically describe it, and if you don't want spoilers, if you're fans of the games and you don't want to know what happens at the end and you haven't seen it yet, <coughs> um, just put it on mute or something. But basically, what happens is that I'm in like this little hospital bed thing, and Kirsten, you know, she gives me like a good old fashion bro hug and you know we just hug it out like friends and after like an hour or so toxic venom starts hearing his sister's voice and he follows her voice and basically the voice leads him to this green portal and he enters the portal because his sister says, come find me, and that's how that ends, pretty much, and, um, yeah, I'm, I'm to be completely honest, uh, I'm just gonna say this right now, Toxic Venom, he is one of my many cousins, and, um, he is, he's probably one of the funniest and most, like, entertaining people that I've ever He's the most entertaining person that's in my dad's side of the family. Don't tell anyone this. That I, don't tell anyone uh, that I s said this, but um, to be completely honest, if you can keep a secret, uh, I think my I like my dad's side. I like my dad's side of the family better than my mom's side. Because, I, I don't know what it is, but maybe it's just because mom, my mom's side of the family is just a little bland, and my dad, my dad's side is just a lot more entertaining. I don't know what it is, but it's just, I like my dad's side of the family better. I don't know why, but it's just a, yeah. And, um, yeah, I don't even think Toxic Venom himself even knows about this. Um, because... You know, I've asked him about it before, and he d said he didn't know. So that obviously meant he did not see the ending. Now, I'm not... I'm pretty sure, he, since he pretty much just watches every video that I make, um, he's going to see this, and he's going to be like, Whoa! Like, this is awesome! But, yeah, so I'm going to basically... I haven't even gotten started on this game yet. Like, you see this title screen right here? This title screen is literally the only thing that I got done with this game. That's literally it. I haven't even, uh, started anything yet. Uh, I got, I got the characters all, I got, I made all the characters, I got their designs done, and, uh, yeah, all the characters are ready to go for this adventure. Now, you're probably thinking, if this is like, is this like a, just a game because someone asked me to make it? No, no. It's basically like a spin-off, and a lot of people, uh, my friend Sam has been asking me if Nether Dude 3 is my last game. Well, I told him, it is my la it's the last game of my story. Of my story. However, I did say that there was going to be spin-offs. There are going to be spin-off games about different characters, but it's still in like you know the same universe in a way. It's in this. It's in the same universe, but it's someone else on it. 
entirely different adventure. So basically, how this game, I already got this memorized in my head how this game is going to start. Basically how this game will start is that he's going to fall through the portal, he's going to land in this different entire area. It's a different city. And this ties into why this is called Age of Toxicity. Because he lands in the city that's made out of, like, toxicity. Because the toxicity has... Someone's controlling it, and it, it's taken over this whole city. It's taken over... Not this, not a city. It's taken over, like, an entire town that him and his sister used to live in. But he left the city, and his sister stayed. Olivia is his sister's name. She stayed behind... But this mastermind has, like, captured her and turned this city into, like, a toxic wasteland, pretty much. And he's got to go through, like, all these toxic monsters that pop up from, like, toxic liquids and stuff. They appear. He's got to get through it. And there's actually some cameos in this game as well. As a matter of fact, I am in this game as well. Not physically, though. I am in this game as a hologram. I am a hologram in this game, and I'm basically going to, like, give him useful information, you know, be a smart donkey, if it, it, you, you get that reference, right? Um, I'm going to be a smarty pants to him, and I'm going to give him, I'm going to tell him what to do, tell him what he needs to do, and how to do it. <laughs> but, um, yeah. There's also... Another character that I'm not, I will not say his name. I will not say his name because I don't want to spoil whoever is in it. Uh, ah, screw it. But, um, I, whatever. I'm just gonna say it, flat out say it right now. Um, so Alex died. He died in the third game. He died. And he's been asking me if if he could come back as, like, a ghost or something. And, you know what? I thought about it, and I felt bad, so I brought him back. I brought him back as a ghost in this game. I'm not sure exactly how he will tie into this story, because he's... He... Alex has only met Toxic Venom, like, two or three times... But, um, I, I'm pretty, he knows who Alex is. It's not like Alex is a complete stranger to him. He knows who he is. Like, anytime, um, me and my brother are at his house and we ask him, like, you know who Alex is, right? He's like, yeah, I know him. He's Connor's friend. Yeah. He, he knows who he is. So, yeah. But I'm not sure how I would... I'm trying to figure out how I would get him in there, so that's why I'm not going to introduce him until later in the game. Um, but yeah, so overall, guys, um, uh, this game is going to be a, pretty much just an action-packed adventure where you're trying to find your sister. Hear that? Um, hear that toxic venom? you got to save your sister from the master... From Master Venom. Master Venom is the villain. Uh, you gotta save your sister from her. Okay? You gotta save her. And it's funny because they don't get along at all. No, she tattles on them a lot. But, you know, it's a game for family. You know, like, he's gonna rescue a family member with some of his friends and family members. That's kind of like... My games taught you about, like, friendship and how friend how friendship is important. That's what my games pretty much taught. This game is going to prove how family is important and how um, you need your family. So, yeah. Overall, this is going to be a very fun humorous, action-packed adventure, specifically for Toxic Venom. Now, if you guys want to give him support, make sure to go check out his channel. Um, he doesn't really, he 
barely even uploads, but just go check him out. He's only got like five videos on his channel. Um, they're all pretty much slideshows. One's a, well, some are slideshows, but yeah, I find his videos to be entertaining even though they are short. And, and he doesn't talk because he's not allowed to. But yeah, so anyways guys, thanks for watching, and if you guys are excited for this game, Jaden, um, let me know in the comment section below, and uh, yeah, see you guys in the next one. And as always, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I know I have not said that in a long time, but um, yeah, so anyways guys, thanks for watching, and as always, I will see you guys later in the next one. Goodbye.